Let's build something obnoxious. And the game's gonna make it hard at every step of the way. We're gonna buy a duck and otter, and then we're gonna re-roll to buy another duck. Which probably isn't gonna stack up very well against this first battle, although we are going to still lose. But we can have three ducks. This is already turning into a really stupid build, and I love every little bit of it. I'm basically sacrificing this round in a really bad way just so that I can make the next round a little bit better. I've sacrificed worse things before. So every time we sell this, the pets are going to get one extra health. So we're going to sell all four of the ducks. And uh, I didn't do any math on that, but we got 14 gold left over. I mostly wanted a swan. So we'll throw the swan up front. We might as well throw the rat out because it has nine health. And even the one six duck, as stupid as that sounds, I kind of want. So let's roll again. Hopefully this get better stuff. I had to stop looking at that duck or else I was going to buy it. Don't want either of those. So for now, we're going to take a crab because that's going to mimic the health of you. And while we're at it, I guess a dodo just so we can give the swan a little more attack. But that's already a pretty strong lineup for turn three. For example, we're facing something none of their team has more than four health. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of uh, hedgehog and uh, that type of build today with pufferfish. Luckily I have an answer for that if need be. I also have another swan so we're going to level that up right away and hopefully find more swans. I would love to get a better swan. They're kind of like my good luck charm. Uh, since I'm not really finding any more, I'm basically going to give a cupcake to you and I'm going to put some honey on the crab just to be annoying. That should be a pretty sure victory here. Yeah, we're uh, well ahead of the competition for a minute. So hopefully we can keep this momentum going because they're not even close to defeating me. Those ducks aren't as good as they used to be, but they still get the job done. Oh, would you look at that? We're going to get rid of uh, you for now. And then I'm also going to give my swan melon armor. Then we're going to need something new to put there. I'm maybe going to freeze the ox because I might use the ox. I think for now, I'm probably actually going to because I need to put something down and I want to give an apple to the swan. I need to make sure the swan stays stronger and stronger because if I don't keep upgrading him, he's going to fall off really hard and then we're going to be in trouble. But for now, I think we're going to be okay. We're going to deal with the bus. Luckily, my lineup has some very good strength to it. Uh, this one we might actually lose though because they do have a bit of firepower. We're going to draw. Nope, they spawned a rat, so I actually lost that, and that was my rat. Uh, I might actually give the crab uh, garlic armor instead, that we did get our level 2 swan, so that's pretty nice. We also got a hippo already. So we're definitely going to throw a hippo into the mix. That hippo's also getting garlic armor, that way you can tear through whatever's in front of it in a hurry. And that's going to be good enough for now. So a 610 swan with melon armor, so he's going to kill the sheep. Uh, we're gonna draw with that sheep. Oh, it's a summoning build, which is very good when you have a hippo because the summons aren't strong enough to do anything about the hippo. The hippo basically just gets stronger while killing your entire team. That ended with 20 and 9, and that's why I love hippos so much. So also for a few turns, we're gonna roll the giraffe in instead of the ox, just because the giraffe is going to get the swan a little stronger. I'm also gonna upgrade all my future animals. We're gonna upgrade the swan more, more time and throw that there. Then we're going to freeze that because now this one is going to be 9 and 13. I do want to start probably upgrading the hippo soon too. But for now, this one's going to do some big damage. The giraffe's going to step in after that. That's fine. In comes the hippo and finally everything else. Oh, we lost that one again. I need kind of a deeper lineup. Uh, there's lots of health, but not a lot of damage going out. To be fair, though, I can just replace this rat with a crab. And that's going to be a 713 crab already. So that's not a bad start. We can also give him uh, one of these and then I'm going to give that to, yeah, perfect. I think the swan's strong enough for now. I'm going to put the giraffe behind the hippo because the hippo can be a force of nature. I wouldn't mind a little bit better RNG for some of these though. Um, but so far we're going to do pretty good because that one was in our favor. The magical fossils have gone down. That was our fourth win. This is where it's going to start to get good because we got not one, but two monkeys. So I'm going to sell a giraffe. I'm going to stack the crabs, believe it or not. I'm going to throw one monkey here, one monkey here, and they're going to feed the hippo. And I'm going to take a gamble here and just feed the hippo for a second uh, because I think it could probably carry us through this pretty well. So if I end the turn here, the hippo is now 15, 18. I just hope it doesn't run into a scorpion or something. Um... It's going to run into some pretty annoying things, but every time it defeats an idiot, it's going to get a boost, and that works out fine. Five trophies. And this one gives me that extra money so I can do things like this fairly regularly. Then when I want to incorporate a new uh, idiot into the lineup, I certainly can. So we're basically going to stack the monkeys because now that's going to have the same. We also got a boar. So I'm going to throw the boar right up front right away. I do want to give him a meat bone if I could afford it. No, sorry, I want to give him a pepper if I can afford it next round but for now we're just going to roll a few times and uh pretty much going to ignore all of that so the monkey's going to give the uh boar a 6-6 six, six boost so he's 20 and 15 so yep that's going to work out pretty nicely right where he's at oh i didn't realize how strong that thing was though yikes 
Uh, I think we're okay overall though, because we do have some depth down the lineup. But that scared me for a second, because that thing was strong. There's a scorpion. Actually, I'm going to unfreeze these, because I really want melon armor on the boar. But we're going to risk it for now and just go like that. I'm not going to touch that for now. There's a level 2 boar even, so that just gets stronger and stronger as we go. Still want melon armor. Level 3 monkey would be outrageous as well. Chocolate we're going to hold on to to help get that level 3 monkey. Okay, so before the boar attacks, he's going to gain plus 4, plus 4. And at the end of this turn, he's gaining plus 6, plus 6. So he's 28, 23. We're a little ways into the rounds now, so we're going to start running into some stronger things. But now every time before the boar attacks, he's doing that plus 5 damage to the thing behind him. So we get all the way to the badger and voila. We are done. Seven trophies. That team did have me a little bit nervous though. I'm actually not going to bother to upgrade the monkey because I think we give plus nine plus nine. Well, that would be so fun though, wouldn't it? Let's freeze you and roll again to see if we happen to... Oh, we got... I never had a level three monkey before. I don't care if I lose or not. That's worth it. We also got a snake to go behind, you know, anything really. The gorilla is probably also pretty good. I don't use them very much. So yeah, he gives the front plus nine plus nine. So that's going to put my boar like into banana land and there's a melon armor for next turn so let's pray we don't run into a scorpion the scorpions don't seem to be as popular anymore because they they're good in the mid game but they fall off towards the end so now that boar is going to uh die rather quickly was hoping it would last a little bit longer than that because that's not great we had such a good team going a few games later uh and i have literally five ants in a row and i'm gonna give this one an apple i should have actually frozen that other ant now that i think about it i've always wanted to try this but i've never actually had the opportunity to at least that i can recall so we're up to a nine five ant already so he's actually gonna go ahead and draw but that was all ants that was really stupid and i love every bit of it but now that we're up to the next tier we're gonna go ahead and go like that and then we get a swan and also a kangaroo but we're gonna put the ants in front of it all that way uh, they can all upgrade uh, backwards. But now I also don't really know what to upgrade. Do I upgrade the swan? Do I upgrade the ant? The swan's going to be more long term. The ant is fun, but it's not going to last forever. Unless I can get a level 3 ant, at which point uh, that would be great. We could have frozen the one that would have kept it level 3, but I'm stupid, so we didn't. But we're up to a 10-7 swan with a kangaroo behind it, so I feel pretty optimistic about this one so far. There's my first victory. Plus, we're getting extra money from the swan so far. Uh, the swan's a good early game one. There we go. There is the extra ant that I needed. So if I put you here, then uh, I'm going to have to wait till next turn to do this. So I'm going to have to fill in with uh, probably a fish for now just because of the stats. It's usually these stupid builds that I end up winning. This guy's only got three guys on his team. Um, he seems to be making that work pretty well for him, though, because that's a really strong badger. It's a honey badger. I love that technique. Okay, we just unlocked the next tier of animals, but we also have a level 3 ant. Uh, a rooster wasn't the greatest draw there, but it's what we got. Then I'm not really sure what we can even get for idiots right now, so I'm going to go like that. Uh, and then I'm also going to freeze that for a sec. I'm going to freeze a crab because we're probably going to crab this one. So instead, I'm going to go like that, and he's going to boost everyone else very nicely. Then we're going to sell him, and we're going to put a crab there because he's going to mimic that health. And then we're going to roll... Oh, another snail would be great. We're maybe going to freeze a turtle because I would like some garlic armor at some point. And we're going to see how this lineup does. Probably should have moved that kangaroo around. Didn't really remember that I had him, to be honest with you. But we got lots of toughness in our lineup. There's another badger, and this is a summoning build. And I'm not yet prepared to deal with a summoning build or a badger. Okay, we got lots of turtles, though. Uh, level 2 turtle could be fun. Uh, also, this ant has to go at some point, but let's just upgrade whatever. Okay, then we're going to garlic armor something finally. I think I'm going to take away the fish and just... For the sake of doing this easily, I'm going to throw a turtle up here. And we're going to give the swan melon armor because I think he's probably most likely to last the longest. Mm, we did get a badger, so I'm just going to throw him on the end. He's very nice to kind of clean up the last idiot and have a draw sometimes. But that melon armor is actually going to make a pretty big difference because that swan basically does a guaranteed 14 damage now, which is a lot this early on. And it made a pretty big difference there. Just need to get a little bit of luck here. Oh, we got a rhino already. A rhino is definitely very good. So I'm maybe going to take away the crab because a rhino potentially with a kangaroo behind it could be very interesting. It's only a 6-9 rhino. Nice. So we can get a melon armor next turn though and that's going to be pretty good. Provided we don't run into anything too ridiculous, that's a bit of a problem. That's an even bigger problem. Uh, our swan's going to try and carry it for the team. The badger saved us at the end. If it was a honey badger, we actually would have won. But I'm actually going to sacrifice the kangaroo because we're just going to put melon armor 
on the Rhino for now. And that's going to cause him to hopefully win some fights and carry his damage forwards. I also need to replace at least one unit here somewhere. I'm going to save that. And then we're just going to have to live with whatever we got. So we're going to go a hippo here and then you get that. Then hopefully we can start racking up some victories. Okay, my thing died right away, but I'm not that worried about it. I am worried about losing the rest of these units though. That was a very strong team, but we had a draw thanks to that badger. Okay, we did also just find an ox uh, a little bit late. But since we have an ant, the ox will upgrade himself continually. So we're just going to throw him in there. Then I don't have to do anything with him. He just does himself. And if I don't start finding something better, I'm just going to go like that. We could give the ant some splash damage if we wanted to. I'd rather give him something a little more annoying. We can upgrade the rhino a little bit though. And then we're going to hold on to that. The monkey I definitely want because we can use that on the rhino in place of something. And yep, good enough for me. Next turn. I really need a summoning build. Uh, another scorpion. Shocking. So the rhino is at least going to draw with the elephant. And then it's up to him. Oh, that's really strong. And then the badger for the win again. That badger is just going to cause me to draw until I'm so hopelessly outnumbered. I just realized I did something kind of stupid by laying this out the way I did. So we're, we're probably going to get rid of, I guess, a swan with melon armor. No, mama. That really hurts. But I think it's a choice I want to make right now. Then we're going to put a rhino there. And there's also a snake. A snake behind a rhino would also be outrageously powerful. But if he knocks something out, he's going to do 8 damage to whatever's behind it. That's a lot of damage. So we're going to go ahead and make the rhino nice and strong, because once he gets rolling, he's not going to stop. Then I'm even going to put him up front so the monkey fuels him, and then this guy's going to boost someone else. 6-3 is nice, but I need that more on the back end. I'm also going to freeze that, because if my badger had honey on it, we'd have like 3 extra wins. So once the party starts here, he's going to continually roll through things and damage what's behind them. And that leaves us right here. So this is okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, we're going to get rid of the badger at this point. Because we're also going to put a penguin. Because the penguin's going to boost both my ant and the rhino. We also have a tiger cub. Which would be really good behind the rhino. Because if the rhino knocks something out, it's dealing 16 damage to the thing behind it. Again, this is another one of those very high risk builds. But I think I'm going to go for it. I'm going to get rid of the bison, believe it or not. And also the ant. Because we're going to put a second monkey and a tiger here on a very weird build. It's only now that I realize how little strength I have on the back end of my build. So this was a really bad choice. But we're going to throw some honey, uh, I don't know, on you. And uh, whatever, let's do this. I'm basically going to try and supercharge a rhino to get through all this. So if he knocks him out, he's going to attack. Wait, oh, the, uh, the tiger died. Oh, never mind. The rhino walked through everyone else anyway. So there we go, trophy number four, and a, maybe the weirdest build I've ever created. So we're going to do the canned food to make everyone else a little stronger. Who are we leveling up? Probably a monkey, because I need a little bit of strength back in my lineup. Uh, I guess I'm going to put a dragon in for now. I've never really used one before. But, oh, a snake is also very good. Well, we're going to freeze a snake and put a dragon in for now. And let's just hope that my rhino doesn't run into anything too outrageous. But he's going to be up to 31, 34, and we're still... Well, we're a little ways in now, so we can run into things that are going to hurt, like you. But we are going to take you out, and then it's up to everything else to get absolutely steamrolled. That's okay. That's what we'll call a transition phase. I'm going to give some steak to the tiger. That way he does 24 damage. That's really going to uh, throw people off. Then I guess I'm just going to go like that and like that. And see if it works this time. He's up to 40-43, so he's very strong. And I know if we hit the right team, it sucks that we keep losing our tiger. I should have put something stronger on the tiger so he can at least absorb a hit. The melon armor would have made more sense on the tiger in hindsight. So I'm actually straight up going to give him melon armor instead. We're being very wasteful this time, but I'm not that worried about it. And I might upgrade the monkey still because eventually we can swap the rhino for something else to get a nice boost. Then again, if we're able to boost the tiger cub, that would also be outrageous. So we're also going to let the, I don't know, monkey come back to life once. No, let's roll again and hope for something good. Melon armor is never bad, pizza is never bad, boars are great, but it's too late, and there's the rest of the tiger cub we need. And I don't know, let's see what happens. So he's up to, yeah, 4750, so I'm going to swap him out. But a 4750 rhino is pretty intimidating. Uh, we are fighting him, so ooh, we actually did defeat him. And then the rhino rolls through everything else really strongly. Trophy number six. So the rhino is now going to repeat his ability, but he's going to do 16 damage if he defeats something. I wouldn't mind a gorilla, I guess, in place of the dragon. I'm not really sure what to do here. I guess since we found two of them, we might as well. Gorilla go there. Um, I guess the coconut melon, that wouldn't work together anyways. So um, let's just upgrade the gorilla once. Oh, I should have moved him. Never mind. That was stupid. We could have been boosting that gorilla a little bit. 
But this should work out fun, because now he's going to attack him. He's going to attack them. 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 He's going to attack him. Then he's going to attack him. And again, <laughs> then he's dead. That was what I wanted to happen. That was beautiful. But now the question is a little bit, um, okay, uh, we're going to put him there so that the gorilla's going to get the boost from the monkey because we don't need to boost the rhino anymore. Do I, do I, do I boost the, him? I don't, I don't know what to do do here uh, okay we'll throw that out there that way you don't really i'm not even gonna think i'm just yep yeah, there you go that's fine no thinking needed it's kind of scary having a 10 12 out front i uh, i just hope he doesn't start like a waterfall in the wrong direction i don't think he will he's up to 17 19 already oh a hedgehog build oh this is where the rhino would have been better because he would have steamrolled all that uh yeah because that's why the rhino should have been up front because i feel like that would have gone more in my favor I think. I'm also going to give this monkey melon armor because for teams like that, that's just going to be super annoying. I'm going to give you a cupcake. We're going to end the turn. Then you're going to jump all the way up to 27, 29. I don't actually know what the gorilla's armor does. So hopefully it does something. Okay, so here comes the rhino to do some extra damage. Uh, that's not great. Oh, that's not great at all. That was such a fun build. Oh, a level three crocodile. Oh, we're on level 17 or turn 17, so that means everything was going to be outrageous. I uh, maybe should have kept the rhino up front because he could have kept steamrolling. Otherwise, he was just taking damage needlessly. You got to get the rhino going for him to be useful. If he just sits there and takes damage, that doesn't work. Okay, this build on the Fishy Rangers wasn't shaping up to be anything good, but now suddenly it's starting to get some potential because we're about to have two idiots with melon armor. And we're also going to have a honey badger on the rear. So this is actually going to be just a really annoying team to fight against right now. Plus we might get as high as a level 3 fish and potentially more melon armor. We are going to get more melon armor. So we can have three idiots with melon armor. So if this works the way I think it's going to, it's going to be a pretty interesting team at least to start. So far it seems to be doing pretty good. That's a really strong horse. But we do also have a badger. And a honey badger is very hard to eliminate. I'm just not even sure who I'd give more melon armor to. Uh, I guess we'll maybe stack them up because they both have melon armor, so let's not uh, sacrifice them yet. We'll roll one more time and hope for something amazing. When we don't get it, I'm just going to give garlic armor to you because we might as well spend that somewhere. We're not going to roll a better creature right now. So we only got a little bit stronger, but yeah, we're going to start dealing with a lot of things like that. He's going to get melon armor himself, and that's going to be a problem because that's a hippo. So we lost. There's a counter for every build and we just ran into ours. So here's a level two swan. There's also a monkey. That's very early on to find a monkey. So I'm definitely okay with that. We're going to put you there. You're going to fuel the swan to uh, great heights. Now it'd be nice to find a replacement for the rat. Uh, but we're also just going to fuel that swan a little more because I need that to be as strong as possible because it's going to carry me through a few rounds, I hope. Because he's going to turn to 13-13. And even if we run into a scorpion, it's not going to do anything. Uh, so that melon armor is annoying, but we took out you. So the rest of the team is going to fight everything else. And that includes a badger. Oh, plus this stupid mouse. Hmm. I expected that to go a lot better. Well, I'm going to stop being stupid and unfreeze these two then. I'm also going to replace a rat with a dolphin for now. Uh, then we're just going to see what else we can get. I'm tempted to actually throw that on you. Yeah, let's do that. We just want our swan to be super strong anyway. Uh, you can have garlic armor and then we're just going to roll for basically anything at all at this point, uh, including you and the bison's tempting also because if something hits level three, whatever. We're going to freeze that and you. So we have a 17-17 swan that should hopefully be able to carry me somewhere. We lost our melon armor already though, so that's kind of troubling. We have more melon armor down the way and we had a draw. So do we want to keep boosting this swan? Because we could take away something like the dolphin maybe. We put a penguin up, we put a swan here, we put you here, and then we put you there. Then we're going to freeze a few things that I might need for a later date. Okay, so now we have a 26-26 swan. At some point, this is hopefully going to get a little bit ahead enough to run. And this is a weird damaging build. Yep, that's okay. Wow, that thing was absolutely the counter for our build. Mostly because we had, you know, no health here, so... The hedgehogs can absolutely decimate these. Okay, this was another team that wasn't really shaping up into much of anything. But now I have a boar, a hippo, a crab, which will be replaced at some point. But also a level 2 penguin, which is going to feed uh, pretty soon a level 2 boar and already a level 2 badger. So he does 20 damage once he dies. I would feel better if I had a monkey or something to help out uh, these guys. But these kind of builds are starting to annoy me where they get 
spraying damage everywhere on every attack, but that's uh, okay because we won thanks to a honey badger. The way to counter the blowfish and uh, hedgehog builds is to have something like a camel that once it gets hurt a little bit, it boosts something. Same with the peacock and things like that. I'm just not doing that right now because I just didn't get the build for it. I'm actually going to freeze a mammoth right now because if he dies, he does boost other things. Uh, we're also going to save that pizza for a sec because I need to see what we get right here. Upgrading the crab isn't going to be much of anything. But I don't like this crab anyway. I couldn't tell you why. I just don't really like him. So we're going to try and upgrade this mammoth a little bit if we can. And that's going for next turn, I guess. We're going to save that and we'll see how this build goes. So the mammoth is certainly going to die here because that's a really strong hippo. And then that's going to die. We're going to take out the hippo finally. But then it's up to the badger who lost all of his damage to melon armor. That was a crazy good team. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and give that to you because you're clearly way behind where I need you to be right now. We could upgrade the boar some more. Yeah, why not? Let's just go like that and hopefully we don't run into a team quite like that. We got a good balance going. Uh, I just need to not run into something so outrageously strong. A monkey would help my cause. A 30-50 hippo. We're in trouble. Yeah, we're not going to win this at all. We did 40 damage. Wow, that was a really strong team too. Sometime later and I'm starting to get another build that's pretty fun. Uh, we do only have six trophies on turn 13, but we have a level two boar up front with a snake behind it, a swan, monkey, and a level two badger at the rear causing all kinds of chaos. And I've just upgraded my monkey to level two, so he's going to give plus six, plus six to the boar every single turn. And we could have a level two mammoth if we want it, which I think we kind of might because he's going to give plus four, plus four to everyone. Plus he comes back to life potentially. So we're going to take out the swan i don't know if i love this move but it's the one we're gonna do so we go like that and then we save the mushroom for the next turn uh and then he's gonna boost the boar and everyone else actually that doesn't really work so what we can do instead is next turn put a tiger cub behind the snake that way as the boar attacks the snake attacks then the uh tiger also attacks like the snake so anyways that was a complete waste of a turn i'm hoping my lineup is strong enough that we can sacrifice a turn like that and still come out on top the scorpion's going to come back to life and take out my boar immediately. That's a fairly clever play on their part. So the rest of my team is going to be absolutely dismantled now. So that wasn't great, but they had a, a scorpion that comes back to life. I didn't know you could do that. I thought if you modified the scorpion in any way, it took its ability away. Well, the more you know, tiger behind the snake. And then we're going to put a boar up front. Then I'm going to be annoying and make sure that tiger does a ton of damage. It's going to do 24 damage to whoever hits it. And I don't know, I'm just going to make the badger a little stronger. So the boar is up to 33, 31, which now that I look at the turn it is, isn't super strong, but it might be enough to get through a team like this fairly reasonably. Uh, then I kind of want to see, are both the tiger and the snake attacking? They're supposed to be. We're going to put it in regular speed for a second so I can actually watch this. The boar is still doing well. Yep, two attacks went out, five damage each. So every time the boar attacks, an extra 10 damage goes out somewhere to anyone. And that's already killed the two rear units. This is a nice little combination. Then if anyone gets through that, they've got to take 28 damage at the end from a honey badger. But the boar just plowed through that entire team, basically, and he's only getting stronger as we go. Well, that is a lot of rams, but I mean, we're actually going to get stronger dealing with them along the way. It's hard to know what to even do at this point. Like, I'm not probably going to buy any more units, any different units. Uh, we could upgrade the monkey or the boar. Probably the boar if we can. I don't know if I've ever actually had a level 3 boar. I probably have because I play with it a lot. For now, we'll get a little closer to the snake. And that's going to be as good as it gets. That's fine. This is a pretty strong lineup can be countered but it's fun and there's just not a lot of firepower throughout the boar is obviously very strong but uh, if we run into something like 50s we're going to be in trouble so well we were in trouble but my lineup actually pulled through in the end there's trophy number eight I'm tempted to give a cupcake to the boar or something else because this just isn't a lot of damage that can all be one-shotted fairly easily but I'm going to play it super risky and just go for level 3 boar. Also, pro tip, if you want a good uh, countermeasure against hedgehog teams, just put garlic armor. It makes you take 2 damage less. Hedgehogs do 2, 4, and I think 6 damage. So garlic armor really nullifies them. Oh, and we're going to have a level 2 snake. So now the snake is going to do 10 damage every time the boar attacks, and the tiger is going to do 5. So we're doing 15 extra damage on top of what the boar is doing. So hopefully the boar survives. The boar is up to 47, 45. There is a very strong snake ahead, uh, which is probably going to be an issue. Uh, okay, we can do this. Yeah, we can do this. We got a draw thanks to that honey badger. But the teams are going to start getting ridiculously stupid at this point. So I'm going to lay down some pizza just to get a little more toughness out of my team. 
uh, and then even some salad just because I need I just need something out of my team uh, and then I can't really do anything with anything there we can potentially make a level three badger which is I don't know if there's any point to that it already does 34 damage after it dies so it definitely takes anything with it so we'll just see how this goes my boar is up to 50 50 now with melon armor so it's going to take out that but they're going to trade and then I think I'm going to die because they've got some strongness behind them well oh they had a 42 42 level three badger at the end once you get into these turns, like you gotta be so stupidly strong just to keep going. But I loved that team. That was a lot of fun. And you needed maybe one more tanky unit. Uh, the Tiger was fun, but by this point it's only doing 5 damage, so we needed something just stronger. 